WTFB Radio. I am your host, Charlie Machine, alongside my right hand man, man, Cash. No motherfucking money. When I say no money, I don't mean he ain't got no money. I just mean we ain't talking about money when we say cash. It's Chiz and Cash, man. Yeah. My and you niggas man. know you need some cash, man. Uh, um, you already know that, man. We in uh, Exposed TV Studios, man, every motherfucking week. Um, this is episode 132. Two. Always sponsored um, by Punch Pies, man. Ooh, we ain't got if no you, pies if, on table. We ain't got no, no pies on table today because Chanel Shantae couldn't be here. Um, some shit's going on with her, but, you know, our heart and, and, and you know, prayers go out to her it's and her family. Her, you know, I'll toast so, anything. So shout out to Chanel toast Shantae, shit. man. We love you, baby. Um, but if you got a sweet tooth, man, you know who to holla at, man. Your pie dealer, man. Punch Pies. You got the Oreo joint. You got the brownie trifle. You got the berry... Mm. She got the what she say she got she got yo, the, the one with the pretzels yeah oh, she's gonna hate me that's, yo yeah. that shit's crazy yeah that's like, crazy how you know pretzels belong on that shit it don't but it's delicious that shit is banging yeah, nigga. yeah that's that just great shit crazy and I hate pretzels nigga but like that <laughs> shit that shit changed the game for me yeah shout out to Punch Pies she got all types of flavors man if you got a sweet tooth and you want to get right man holla at Punch Pies pack with a punch um nigga what's up with you man how was your last seven days. Shit crazy, man. We had this meet and greet. The meet and greet just happened, like, literally just before just we doing now, this right like, now. Yeah, man. like, this shit was, that shit was dope. Yeah, it was shout dope. Out, shout, shout out to, to Kateria. Kateria, man. Shout out to Matt. Yeah. Shout out to Logan from Untitled, um, shit, God damn, Untitled Exports. Um, shout out to Kurt Faustin for coming to talk. Um, shout out to everybody that was in the building, man. Shout out to all the raffle winners and yeah. things of that nature. It was a dope event, man. Sure We're going to do this month over month over month at Exposed TV Studios, man. So if y'all can make it, always make it, man. We're going to be here in the building. Yeah, it had 72 niggas in here, bro. And 72. It was hot, bro. Yeah, it was, it's hot as fuck. It's yeah. still hot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still hot, niggas. Yeah. Like, it's like Heat the is hottest, decreasing. It's the hottest day yeah. of the summer so far. And I, I'm, yeah, I'm hot as shit, nigga. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Um, but we here. But yeah, man. Um, congratulations to Cash, man. Mmm. Thank you, my man. My man just, just you know, my second just delivered child, his man. wife just delivered this, his second born. Yeah, my shout nigga. out to my so wife. So shout out to bro. you, my yeah, nigga. Man. Congratulations, my nigga. Let's clap it up for my man Cash. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Yeah, man. Father of two. Shout out to the best hospitals in the nation. You know what I mean? Here in Boston, Massachusetts. Massachusetts. You can't die here, baby. At all. Especially if you a child, because a child is more valuable than anything else. Right. Fuck yeah, veterans. Man. So. You know, my child but, being in that NICU right now, I, I'm praying, but I know that she's good. I'm willing to good. bet a lot on it. You know what I'm saying? Man. Everything. The so, best place for her to be right now is in the NICU. Man. Yeah, so she, I'm good. good. So good, I'm good. Man. So I'm really happy. I'm blessed, bro. That's and, my goddaughter. You know yeah. what I mean? His firstborn wasn't my uh-huh. goddaughter for whatever reason. I don't know. Cash, this nigga, cash let be it tripping. Let it you know what I mean? But whatever. Yeah. You know what I mean, we here. We here. Yeah, That's my now. goddaughter, my nigga. So, I mean, shout out to you, my nigga. I love you, too, my man. Congratulations. Yeah, it feels good, baby. Father of two, my nigga. Yes, sir. Fuck you, kids. Yeah, that's it. I'm done now. I'm going to go get one of them joints done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, fuck yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. They over here getting rid of Schmorschman. Sh- yeah, kill them siblings. Yeah, I mean, no feeders could beat us, nigga. I'm done, <laughs> nigga. Fuck <laughs> <Like> that. <laughs> All right, but what else we got, man, before we do these Red Cups and ratings, man? I got two albums that I really want to talk about, man. What you talking nah, about? Nah, I'm excited for the Red Cups. Let's do it. All right, Red man, we ain't really got no, no, uh, no, no current events this week. Nah, but we are gonna get shit. straight into the red cups and ratings because we want to talk to this guest, man. We look like Fox News, nigga. Can't be reporting on current events. Nah, not all the time. Not Come all on. the time, man. But um, red cups and ratings, man. First one on the chopping block. Once again, now I want you to understand something, my shit, nigga. Nigga, this nigga been working. I think this is what his eleventh volume, nigga. Eleventh project in like what year well, nah, and a it's, half? It's his ninth this year. Ninth this year alone. This year alone. Nah. Yeah. Is that true? Yeah, bro. Like, you count it? Yeah, it's nine. My man, Booty Rock, man. Hoop Gospel. Um, This is a nine-track project. It's about 24 minutes long. Just looking at the artwork alone, the nigga I was is, like, this nigga's on some shit. I mean, shout out to his team. Because now I'm not going to hate on Booty Rock and... And be like, Body Rock don't put in mad work. I'm sure Body Rock puts in, I see him, groundwork is crazy. He puts in more work than a lot but of niggas. You, his dedication brings in a team of niggas who want to oh, just absolutely. help. And On want multiple to, levels. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. So, like, 
everything that comes out, you could tell like multiple hands are there. Yeah. To be like, yo, here we go. Like everybody, Absolutely. there's mad people in love with a lot of the shit that he's doing. And it's like, I feel like it's all happening off of love. Word. That's why I feel like that shit is almost undefeated, nigga. Word. You know what I mean? So like this project, I mean, I did you introduce it already? Yeah. Yeah. This project to me, it's just a it's a stepping stone. It's just another step. What'd you feel about it in comparison to his other stuff? A lot of features. Okay. A lot of features. A lot of Feed the Family. I mean, yeah, Top Hoop. He, he had Aunt Bell right? on there. He had Funeral Aunt Bell. Funeral Aunt Bell. Aunt Aunt Bell. Aunt Bell uh, Shake High Neve. Dunn Shake. Dilly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it was, a, it was a lot of Feed the Family. I mean, yeah, yeah, besides Funeral Aunt Bell, um, Naive, that was it. Everybody Who was on was, the production? Who was on the production? I know Michael Angelo was at, on at least one record. I know, uh, I think Tremendous was on some. Really? Um, who's this other producer that he always? Talks I don't know. About? I wasn't in love with the production. No, nah. What didn't you like about? It? I don't know. I just wasn't in love. I, I mean, I like all the, I like the way because he got a dipset feel to a lot of his records. Mm. So he do a lot of that dipset intro to a lot of them records with the with the old school like tracks with the soft high pitch right. joints, and I like them shits. Right. Yeah, you know I mean, but joints wasn't. I was looking for some knock. Okay. I mean, it wasn't a lot of knock. It was like, and it, it makes sense. It's like gospel. You know, he yeah, ain't yeah. religious, but you know, he had right. to play into it. You know, the record with Funeral and Bell on there. Yeah, yeah. So I liked it though. I know all in all. I don't know if Maka and Tremendous was on it, but I know Michelangelo definitely produced one of these records, or maybe more. Not sure, but I thought it flowed really well consistently. All Cohesiveness the was on point. Now. I'm not denying that. I love the that. production. I, I, I got right, well, I, I to gotta disagree with you on that. Well, like, that's I thought, fine. I thought that he picked the beats first. I, I, and I don't know what his creative process was on this, but just from listening to it, bro, I, I can assume that he heard the beats first. <laughs> but you know. And he got one of them ADHD, ADHD. <laughs> so, like, he be hearing the record probably one time by, yep, that's it. It's good to go. And, like, he, like, you know, he let records go. Like, right. Body Rock, I don't think I got any records. He's like, oh, wait till you hear this one. He's like, yo, did you hear that last shit? I dropped that shit at midnight. <laughs> yeah. You know but what I'm saying is, just from the start to the finish, my nigga. Yeah, 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 yeah. Where would I be with Top Hoop? That shit was yeah, crazy. Yeah, that shit was crazy. Like, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. I don't know if that was a sample. I don't know if that was actually somebody singing on the record. Nah, Top Who is getting mad. He's getting right back into his, like, it's crazy, man. The features was... Because we from that, yeah, we yeah, from yeah, that yeah, era yeah, of P89. Yeah, 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 nigga, exactly. Top, top P89. P89, <laughs> yeah. my nigga. So, well, we'll, let so, get, we'll let him get his Top Who, though. Top Who now. Top who now. He, he, he went through a rebranding. You know what I mean? And, and, and we respect that. But I always thought out of the camp, you know, he was arguably the nicest one, my nigga. Yeah, you know till saying? till Sheikh Hanif was introduced to me. So. Until Feed the Family happened. Yes. Exactly. Until yes. Feed the Family yes. happened. Sheikh Hanif got that. Right. Yeah. But what I'm saying is I love Top Who on these joints, bro. Yeah, because, nah, nah. And, nah. And, and what I like is when these niggas work together, bro, it's, 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 it just sounds like brothers just doing what brothers Exactly, doing. exactly. Yeah. It was like from top to finish, my nigga. I, what do we give it? What do we give it? I can't really give it, you know. What do we give it? All right. <laughs> Damn, nigga, you just want to get to the bottom of it, nigga? You just, yeah, what yeah. We give it? What I, we give it? I mean, I know, because we could go on for days about how we feel, feel about Feed the Family and all them niggas. You all know right, what I mean? So. Right. Fair enough, man. <laughs> Out of five Red Cups, man, we gave Body Rock Hoot Gospel, man, a 4.8 out of five red cups, Ooh, man. Wow. Okay, Chanel liked it a lot, too. Shout out my man, Body okay. Rock, man. Body Rock, Body Rock. Uh, uh, Body uh, Rock. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> um, what was next? Oh, this next one, man. And I'm glad we saved this one for last because we named this one. Right? Yeah, we did. This is Remain Authentic Dennis. by my man King Bricks. Bricks. We named that shit, man. My yeah. man came up here and said, yo, I need, I need y'all to help me name this shit. I saw a guy, though, man. He said Remain Authentic. I didn't even think he was going to go with that. I thought he was going to do some other shit. And then it came out and I said, oh, shit. Nigga actually ran with it, man. Oh, so God, man. remain authentic, man. Um, a 14 track project. It's about 38 minutes long, man. What'd Chubby you think? Chubb on the intro. Yes. What'd you think? Yo, my nigga, like you texted it, but too late. I already thought about it. Like, yo, grimy girt. Yeah. 
Like, yo. Yeah. What about Grimey? Yo, yo, Grimey is like, yo, his yeah. name. Like, his yo, name is crazy. Yo, his name is yeah. like, yo. He's like, yo, I done did niggas wrong. That was cool. Yeah, 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 fact. <laughs> yeah, you know I mean, like, he don't. I think I robbed Grimey, niggas from high school. You know what I mean? Yo. I can't wait to have Grammy Girl. Yo, yo. We got it. We got uh, There's well, a lot. There's a lot that fine. I want to talk yo, about. Yo, look. Look, I, I don't want to take nothing from Bricks, but like those features from Gert, and I think Gert's on two pro, on two joints on there. Uh, he's on three actually. Three on, on there. Uh, track three, Palm Angels. So like that relationship That's makes his sense. Uncle. <laughs> I a lot of niggas know don't that. know that man. Grammy Gert's his uncle. Wow. Yeah. Right. Um, he's on track nine, Civil Rights. I love Civil Rights because they um. They got they got real. Yeah, like, yeah, I mean, yeah. Into a bro. lot of shit that like a lot of hood niggas don't talk about. And he also did uh Toes Track Ten. Um he has some really good features on here, man. I think King Bricks is in his bag. Oh nah. And he's back he, and he's on some sewer shit. Yeah, he dirty. Those a right. lot, lot of filth. Yeah, he's he's dirty, right? Filth. He's like he's it was dirty. premium filth yeah, 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 on yeah. this one. Yeah, yeah. He's running in the mud. He don't give a fuck. It was elite filth. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It was um spot shot or shit. Yeah. Yeah. Um yeah. shout out to Claiborne Vell. Um he's also on Palm Angels with Grammy Gert. That nigga got a crazy story, man. We gonna we we gonna talk about that nigga soon, soon come as well. Um But I think this shit right here, fire. I mean, what, what, what you mean? Do, do, you what know else what? you got to say about it? Honestly, bro, I'm... Damn, I kind of want to think my score because I, I, I like this top to bottom. Yeah. There wasn't uh, anything and, and that there was, I disliked. There was, nothing that I, there was nothing that I disliked, bro. Honestly. Like, I mean, Bricks, he was just... Like, I told him up here, I was like, yo, you just been getting more, you know, more greasier. I mean, yeah. I think it's appropriate for, for know, what's happening. You know, and like, Chris yeah. Bosch, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it was like, you know, the talk was heat. You know, it was hard. But I think that, I think it's appropriate, bro. Yeah, I nah, think it makes nah. a lot of sense yeah, for yeah, yeah. what he's going through and where he is with his career. I don't believe there's anybody in this city, in this scene, who can really help Bricks right now. Mm. I think he just needs to go outside and, and, and market himself. That's an interesting way to put that. But you know okay. I mean? Like in my opinion. You know what I mean? I think because he, he created his own following. Yeah. He has a crazy online presence. He produces as well. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like I think right now is his time to like really go out there and shake hands. Um and, and I'm excited. I'm excited to see what the yeah, fuck nah. happens with this my nigga. You know, we I all think it's right his best there. work yet. Yeah, this is this is right there. Yeah. So what we give it? Yeah, where we go? Where we... Also, out of five red cups, man, we gave Remain Authentic by my man King Bricks 4.8 red cups, Ooh. man, out of five, dog. Shout out my man King Bricks, man. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. It's the week of 4.8s, I guess, my nigga. You know what I mean? Average-wise, if you would have asked me, Bricks, it would have been a five. Yo, don't. In my opinion, yeah. my nigga. You know what I mean? You know, to be other niggas. Involved on these ratings. Yeah, it wasn't that's how point. you go do It wasn't niggas. me. It wasn't Chuck, my nigga. It wasn't me, dog. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, either way, man, let's get into the, uh, you know, our guest, my nigga. Let's get our guest in here, man. Let's get our guest going, man. Uh, what can I say about the guest, man? <laughs> Shit. All right, I'm not going front. When I first heard of the guest, yeah. I wasn't really sold on him, right? Just because of his lack of prop. Like, you know, product, content, right? Yeah. What I heard from him was excellent, but I just, a lot of the people that kept bringing him to my attention, I kept saying he needs more work. I want to hear a whole full body of work. I want to hear what he does with what he has. Right? But it's crazy because all the niggas who always brought him up was stand up ill niggas. That's right? a fact. <laughs> so, That's a fact. So it was always like, Damn, are they like forcing him to do it? Right. <laughs> but, but at the same time, it's like we can big on man's up, but your man's has to come through and deliver, right? And then he dropped his project. Oh yeah, right? yeah. It was yeah. a seven track EP. We yeah, we rated, rated it. it. We rated it up here, man. Four out of four out of five red cups. I loved it from stop from start to finish. You know we always do our research. Mm-hmm. 
You know, <laughs> a lot of checks were checked off. Man. Nigga comes back with a lot of medals. You know what I mean? Um, you know, I, <laughs> sometimes I get more information than I care to know. Oh, it does. <laughs> you know what I mean? But Highly w- what I'm saying is <laughs> this guy got a story to tell. He got talent. Let's get the and story. And I think he's one man. of the That's youngest faces that, 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 that we're going to champion and get behind, man. So I need anybody and everybody to put your hands together. Give your undivided attention to my man, Millie 19. What's good, baby? Oh, What's the word, my boy? Chill, chill. Yo, so is it H Millie or what this is, is it? Millie nineteen? Somebody Millie took 19. it, so I just had to add the H. Oh, uh, okay. Yeah. okay. Took somebody took what? Like the name, the handle. Okay. On the socials and shit. Fucking internet, my yeah, nigga. Right? right? Okay, 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 okay. Niggas should be able to fight for that shit. With the H come <laughs> I the H my first name, so okay, I just okay, threw right. the H on it. Okay. Me. All right. That's fair, man. But how you doing, man? Doing all right. Doing all right. I've been following y'all. Shit. Yeah. Thank you, I was bro. ready for this interview. I'm glad you're here, man. For Where? real, man. How you doing? I'm good, bro. I can't complain. You know, life is life, man. But we here. We pushing. We we creating, man. You know? All right. We here for y'all. But um, for the people who don't know who you are, give us a quick rundown on who you are, what you do, what you represent. I really don't got no crazy spell, but shit, I'm fucking with the music right now. If you ask me, I'm a nigga that everybody around me vouch for, so that's it. Like, I don't got too much to say. Like, that's a fact. Yeah. Yeah, that's very true. When I when I say, like, like stand-up niggas, like, talk about <laughs> you, it's like they talk about you in a light where, like, you producing music all the time. And it drives me crazy because we don't I'm, hear it. Nah, I'm like, yeah. I'm like, I'm like, cause they cool, they cool, but they not really paying attention to the scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We paying attention to the scene. I'm not gonna hold you like it. So to me, I'm like, I know, I know, Millie got it, but like, you know, like he don't want to really do it as much as I think nah, you nah, say nah, he nah. want to do it. Now that's understandable. It's like it's definitely. That's definitely part of it. Like, I never wanted to. I didn't start off wanting to rap. I was the nigga, like, I was getting my cousins and them in the studio, mm. paying for their features. Okay. All type of shit. Like, sending them beats. Okay. Getting collabs together. All type of shit. But then my man's kind of convinced me, my man Money, he was just like, yo, just jump on some shit. Because I, I always could rap, but I never was for that limelight. I never was... Front and center, I even know how to record. You didn't even care. Yeah, I never cared. Yeah. And then I wanted everybody around me to pop with the shit. I felt like I could have been the brains, but mm. shit. After a little record or two, niggas heard it just I had to just drop it because mm. that bleeding shit. Yeah. Mm. My bro heard it. Wasn't supposed to put the snippet out, put a snippet out. Mm. And everybody else I had everybody a relationship with, like, yeah. yo, nigga, sitting that. Why niggas got it? I uh-huh. can't get it. Like, yeah. I'm yeah. like, fuck it, bro. It's about to be out on Thursday. And I had it yeah. rock out like that. Yeah. Yeah. So that was the first one. That was the first one. What, what year, year was, was that? that? 2019. Ooh. Oh. It took me like another, what, year to drop another single or some shit like that. So. It just, a year. Who turned this on? So <laughs> make it up. Bro. Trying okay. to make it up now, get a twelve month run at least. Yeah. So, all right. So, so tell us about your upbringing, man. Because I'm, I'm, I'm curious about your story, man. Like, you know, like, you know I mean, where'd you grow up at in Boston? And, and you know, like, give us a little bit about your story. I grew up Four Corner, Phil's Corner area, C Square, like, shit, all my life, just running around regular shit. Yeah. Um, coming up. Same, um, the you Haitian, like, you Haitian, yeah, right? Z. Yeah, both your parents, yeah, yeah, straight Z's. But yeah, I'm coming up like shit, hooped obviously, just like everybody Tall else, nigga. yeah, football, shit, regular shit, just. But I was like, I was kind of always outside, like, I was really, really outside, like, it wasn't like no. Bro, it wasn't no, no indoor shit. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't well, I play a video yeah, game. Yeah, nah, 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 I ain't play a video game since like sixth grade, bro. Like, nah, I was always like, I was just exposed to a lot. I had access yeah. to a lot, but I was always smart as shit. You got just, siblings. Yeah, yeah, I got siblings. So that's pretty much like all it was. Like, then I just like, I was mad independent early. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then shit, I just been carrying it from there. Like, Early teenage years, like I've been really independent, stay with my, on my own, all that. Like, I feel like a lot of Haitian <clears throat> households are like that. Yeah, 
Like you get taught to be independent early. Yeah. Like nobody tells you to leave. Nah, I feel sh- like they'll probably want you to stay home. Not I really like. Yes, and though. Well, I think both ways. It yeah. Depends on how how yeah. how how uh, thorough this vagabond in you is, my nigga. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because p- Haitian parents always feel like they can save you. You can have your mind made up on whoever you want to be on, whatever it is that you want to be, but they have an idea on what their kid should be, right? Yeah. Um, I don't know what your household was like, but, you know, mm-hmm. growing up in a, in a religious Haitian household, you know, parents always felt like, yo, you know, you know I mean, he just made a bad choice or whatever the case may be. But in mm-hmm. reality, you had an idea on who the fuck you wanted to be, right? Yeah. You um, already knew, nigga. Right. You know yeah, I mean? yeah, yeah, yeah. Ain't, ain't no changing that. It was all about how you could masquerade that shit. Exactly. You know I mean, to the point where you couldn't anymore. <laughs> like, it's when you got, when that threshold was crossed, where the covers was just dropped and they seen <laughs> all that shit you was doing, you was like either going to be like, yo, fold or be like, yo, fuck it. And... After that, it don't matter. The rest what is, is history. It? Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, so what made you? You said you always kind of like could rap or whatever. Like, yeah, like what, school what? shit, like elementary, like clip middle shit. school, <laughs> like nah, like you know, cipher <laughs> shit, like cipher shit, like yeah. lunch table, before school, after school, whatever. Like niggas could rap. Like I know I could rap. I always knew what was whack, what was not whack. Like right. you feel me? So yeah. Did you um? So you do you do like a lot of the harmonizing rap, man, yeah, right? Like melodic what, shit. Yeah, yeah. Were you ever just like a hard spitter where you just gave niggas? I started balls? off. I started off just rapping, rapping. Right. Mm. But then it's like I start. I start making. Excuse me. I start making what I wanted to hear. Like if I heard certain beats, I was just fire. I'm like, then I gravitated towards that wave. Like you know. Mm. That melody shit, it's a, it's a wave. So who you who you be listening to? Like who you who you like local or um or industry like, wise? Who you yeah, industry to? wise, yeah. I mean, I listen to a lot of Derek, Polo G. I used to fuck with Cowboy when he was dropping. Um, that was like the main three. Yeah, okay. yeah. But you said local, so you fuck with you fuck with some. If I played twenty tracks like in a week or a day, whatever, eighteen of them was local. Like I bump all local. Like shit. that's fire. I got a long ass list. I just Man, like give bro, us I, give us four names. Shit. I was bumping that Remain Authentic. Okay. Okay. Shout out my man. Oh. Um, whenever, uh, whenever uh, R knows dropping, like you were speaking about 89, 89, yeah. been my one R&O. of my favorite yeah. spitters. Oh, yeah, yeah, A yeah, lot of yeah, niggas yeah. don't know that oh, name yeah. anymore. R&O. Nah, R&O. Nah, I go Feed back the with them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. R&O. You know, they, you know. Nah, I go back oh, with them. Yeah. I was like, I was in a crib with them. Like, yeah. Yeah. I was like 15, like no bullshit. 89, like I was around him when grind time and all of that like mm-hmm. that's what i really <laughs> like grew up on, uh, listening to him that yeah. was one of my favorite spitters facts, still is facts yeah but he yeah, took yeah. his time off and i mean i could tell they I, did and they forced him i back think he's back it. now i think no, I, I think they think, forced him yeah back yeah oh it. yeah they definitely pushed his ass <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. And i was like me he never really cared for the shit yeah right. i could tell right but um shit dutchy okay mm. i like the ratchet shit too dutchy the rest of sl boom um yeah so I, I like life. the ratchet shit too, though. Like I'll go listen to some dirty shit. Like it don't matter the Billy Bandos, the the Jizzles. I listen to everything, bro. Then everybody that shot Godly, like okay, my man Twitch. Like it's a lot of niggas, bro. Like oh, you naming good niggas. Yeah. I like that, bro. That was I like fire. that. So you said nah, it's like yeah. your nigga yeah, Rain. Nah. Whenever Rain's drop, it's a whole. Uh, lot. Shout my man yeah. Scully, so shout shit. Yeah. Shit. Yeah. shit, no whole shit. Yeah. Well, 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 obviously, well. the niggas that's on the higher tier a little bit. You know, Stiz, mm-hmm. Millie's, X, Y, Z. Like yeah. All right, that's like fine, man. That's that's we not fucking with local. Besides, who I just need? I mean, everybody you seen on our show. Come on, man. That's an easy. That's an easy answer. Yeah, everybody. everybody <laughs> it take seen, a while though. Like, because we we like every like we like, everybody like up, so well, who we, haven't you brought up that you know what mean? Yeah, we like niggas. we like niggas like pause like everybody that you see sit across from us, bro. Like we hand picked Besides that one Albanian kid. You know what I'm saying? No, 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 no. Who? I mean, but who you like that you haven't brought up here yet? Grimy Gert. Oh, Grimy Gert. Grimy Gert Damn. needs to come up here. Uh, yeah, he black on. on that. I, uh, I would love us. Yeah, on facts. Tape. Yeah, Get facts. He on went there. crazy on Romania. Yeah, he went Romania. nuts. Um, I would love to have Cousin Stiz, obviously, up here. Yeah. yeah. We would love to have Bia up here, obviously. Yeah, yeah, the Jordan Lucas. You know, the Jordan Lucas of the world. Like, yeah, you know what I mean? mean? These the, the bigger names. 
You know, even Token, you know what I'm saying? Like, Token got some shit. Like, he has a cult-like following. That white boy could go. Like, he has, like, a whole catalog of music. And, like, a crazy catalog as well. But, like, as far as people who are still in the trenches who are really, like, getting shit done, I mean... I mean, it's we have I mean, a lot who, of names, bro. Who haven't we had on right. here? Like, I think that's a, I, I mean? think that's a better question. Like, who because it's we like had? it's like who we tapped in with really fuck with us too. It gotta go kind of go both ways. You know what I mean? Yeah. Right. Right. So then, how you shit, Mikey Milano? That's another fire artist. That oh is, yo, that, kid's that kid is crazy. Yeah, that kid's amazing. That kid but y'all crazy. had to tap in with him, or y'all was already tapped in? Like, you know what I'm saying? So I think with us, yeah, man, this nigga interviewing us. Um, <laughs> I think I'm with curious. Us, yeah. You asking me shit? I want to know too. <laughs> nah, that's fine. I think honestly, no bullshit. Is is I mean, I I don't want to speak for cash, but like for me, it's really more like you know we we hear names, we see what they're doing, but we just kind of want to see like how long are they gonna keep doing it for, right? Because we could champion whoever we want to champion, but like, do you want to stand behind your craft too? I mean, there's a lot of niggas who come and go, bro. Because we come in every week, bro. Yeah. We can't last yeah. longer than, nigga, than them. You know what I'm saying? like, <coughs> So there's niggas who, who who get hot for a second. They ride that wave, and then where the fuck they go? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, we're cool you, with a press run, but it's like... Right. Every, I mean, Are you going to consistently do what it takes to be done to be heard, my nigga? And no bullshit, that was kind of like my beef with you. You know what I mean? Because I'm like, there's so many niggas behind this cat. You know what I mean? Like, so... What do you plan on doing differently moving forward? Shit, I'm at that point where it's like, I'm trying to put that 12 month run together and see if it's worth it. Like, cause like I said, like music was never my passion on right. some shit. Like I ain't come up wanting to rap, but mm-hmm. yeah. if I feel like I got a chance and it's like worth it, bro. Like, right. yeah, but I ain't gonna lie. I'm same nigga like shit. I don't feel like this is rolling. This ain't my, for this not what I really like Get into, get into, like, you know? This ain't your end-all, be-all. Yeah. Yeah. But you gave a lot of yourself. How many niggas got to tell you you nice? Nine. How many niggas? 1,000 niggas? You need 1 million niggas? <laughs> nah, uh, you see, you need a I dollar from me. I just dropped something like what an hour ago. Really? Yeah, I just dropped the vid. See, I ain't even that. Yeah. What, he, did that on, he did that on Burp. What you drop? I know I was supposed to drop sooner. I had to oh, take okay. care of some shit in it. What you but, drop? Um... A video. What, to, it's on to YouTube. What? To what? What's it called? Some shit that wasn't out. Oh, okay. Yeah. Unreleased shit. Yeah. Okay, okay, okay. So, all right. So, you see, but that's what I mean. Like, I like that, right? You just that's dropped true. something an hour ago. We was in the van, obviously. We didn't know nah, fuck this shit happen, right? But um, let, let's, let's talk about Still Bleeding. Yeah. Seven tracks, right? Um, there's a lot of, like, content condensed into mm-hmm. seven records, like, real fast. And I feel like you got real personal. Yeah, shit you too. you got. Um, what made you go that personal as far as like you even like set names and shit? Damn, and like, damn. Can I? Let, damn, that's a deep. That's a that's an open wide question. Nah, I know where Chuck's at with it. You I get what I'm. Yeah, you get. Yeah. I got. I got a question too though. Go ahead, go ahead, sim- go ahead. More simpler. Go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, you know I mean, because like when I hear <laughs> your shit, no bullshit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. I'm. I could, you, I'm nah, 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 nah. <laughs> Answer his shit later, man. Yeah, you know I mean, he be I'm gonna get into it, but it's like I know how to answer that. Like, yeah, go ahead, yeah. fuck it, answer. No, 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 no fuck it. I hey, see my shit. Got shit. Yeah, I got yeah, my shit. shit. I got my no shit. Reason. I got my shit. All right. So now, nah, um, the whole what project, made you get that raw? So, so look, the whole project it was like it's so crazy. Like, probably only two of them joints I recorded. Like, listen, I dropped in April. I recorded before, uh, nah, two of them joints I recorded since November. Mm. Between November and April, only two of them shits I recorded. Mm. Okay. From everything else, I had tracks on it that I did the same day I recorded Bleeding, the mm. first single I put mm. out in 2019. Mm. Had tracks from 2020. But um, yeah, I just, I had to put out my most like finished songs. I got a lot of unfinished shit. Okay. Then I just tried to put it in the order of like my favorite shit. Okay. My best melody, then my best rap, and then my best feat, like whatever, whatever, or like what feature would complement the last song type shit. Then. Okay. But part like that's kind of like the easiest way for me to make music is like just you no, know, like put it all on. The yeah. Table. So all right. So that all right. So maybe that answers my question. But, but when I but listen Chuck, to- I ain't gonna lie. Um, I was hesitant. Like 
certain shit because let's say it's all type of different shit like different lanes i might be talking about some shit like female i might be talking about some neighborhood shit right. then so it was like i don't know i was hesitant on certain shit because i don't want nobody had to promote no crazy whatever but right now nah, i just my man's before he passed he just kept pushing me to drop I'm mm. like nah bro drop drop and i'm like nah i ain't trying to drop certain shit i ain't trying but i'm like fuck it put my best songs together and just dropped it so you was kind of one of them niggas that like was the hottest nigga amongst your niggas essentially Right, cause I can't even say that. Cause you you, you might have had some shit that like all your niggas heard, but the world didn't hear. Yeah, type shit. It was a lot. Yeah, definitely. Right, definitely. Like so, when you made those records, you was thinking about them niggas. When well, I made the records, yeah, my target audience is literally my yeah, yeah, your niggas. Yeah, right? and they like niggas. My neighborhood, my niggas. Out. Yeah, right, right, right. So, and I heard that mm-hmm. in the music. I'm like, this nigga going crazy, <laughs> like. I'm like, nigga, what the fuck Decorated, am I listening to nigga. right now? You know what I mean? Like, and it goes to show you that you're respected, you know, on multiple levels of different crabs and things of that nature. So, um, I was definitely trying to find a balance, though, between like, you know, uh, am I able to get that person or that raw and know him? You know what I mean, straight, straight. So, I'm like, yeah, cool. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> Type of shit. What you gonna ask? Like, Cause I heard a lot of betrayal in your shit. You talk a lot about betrayal. So like to me, I didn't understand whether was it was it therapeutic or was it a response? Was you like talking so niggas could hear you? So clear? Cause you was speaking like very clear, nigga. Yeah. There was no cursive. Yeah. Everything yeah, was yeah. in large, was bold no print, nigga. <laughs> so like or, or 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 because i was asking my wife i was like what you think because she heard it she was like mm-hmm. i think it was therapeutic i think he was looking for a way to just put it out yeah so, i ain't gonna lie um, was there a my, difference nah, was if, there more towards if, either or nah it definitely more therapeutic i'll say because mm. i ain't gonna lie like niggas around me or if you know bro it get deep like as far as old friendships whatever the case is like there's still conversations that need to be had like between me and different individuals it's still with serious situations and mm. they didn't get rectified or we didn't get the chance to touch base and whatever like you know what i'm saying so it was more so as a lot then there's a lot of shit like damn like shit used to be that deep with me and you and i mean we not even talking no more right now or whatever right. the case is so I mean, it was therapeutic because I had to get a lot of shit off. At the same time, I'm a nigga. It's not too many people I could talk to. Right. Like, for real, for real. Like, right. shit. And even that handful that I could talk to, I be feeling like I might be a broken, not a broken record, but like, damn, like, you know what I mean? I feel like niggas get tired of hearing yeah. what type of shit you went to or whatever the case is. Like, you don't want to keep a lot of shit. Yeah, I ain't really. My best way to get it out was through writing. Hmm. And it, it might be some shit like I might have told my mans about it one time, but it still bothered me. It's yeah. still some shit like I really want to get off. Right. But I don't want to feel like all right, my mans ain't trying to handle this shit again or whatever. I ain't talking to no shorty about nothing. <laughs> but yeah. You can't trust these bitches with your feelings. And you don't smoke no weed. I don't smoke. Good for you, man. Damn, nigga. <laughs> Would you ever a fiend, though? Know? Like, for the bud, though. Shout for the bud. Like, the fuck God. that, man. Nah, nah, relax, <laughs> man. Nah, nah, nah. I had that phase. I definitely had that phase. Like, you had to have a blunt. Or it was nothing. Had that phase. Yeah, or like, you was shooting something. Like, like, you know what I mean? Like a basketball. Like, yeah. By, by yeah. 10, 11, 12. Hmm. Bro, I was getting that Hold headache. On. Hold on, hold on, wait, wait. 10, 11, 12 years PM. old? No, oh, no, no. Oh, yeah. I smoked my first. Say, God damn. I smoked my like, first blood at 12, but anyway. Nah, nah, I don't right. but like, but whatever. But yeah. <laughs> but like 10, 11, 12, <laughs> like midnight, bro, like if I didn't have that, like, nah. But I had to kick that shit, like, yeah, I really, uh, even the whole time, I was smoking every day multiple times. Yeah. It was reasons why, like, my folks passing and them in the, you know what I mean, all type oh, of shit. I'm around oh, shit. the folks that's all chiefing, that we all chiefing, and this shit turned into a daily thing. Yeah. I had, to, the whole time I was, excuse me, excuse me, yeah, the whole time I was, I felt like I was on some bum shit, though. Mm. Like, why am I, and then when you're not high no more, it's like, nigga, the problem's still there, like, right. you feel me? Right. So I, I knew that the whole time. Them like nigga, I felt beneath, like damn, this shit really is up on me. Like, 
the weed's up on me. Like, I got to mm. smoke this shit mm. daily, multiple times. Like, can't go to sleep without it. Like, nah. So then I started, I started drinking out. Like, when I was getting that urge oh, to smoke. Okay. Yeah. I was hitting the LQ. How that work? Did that for like <laughs> well, funny shot. Did that shit for like I'll say like a week and a half. Two weeks. <laughs> okay, okay. I stopped getting the urges to smoke, and then I just stayed with the L. Then L, you don't. It's not like it's not like smoking a blizz nah, much nigga. straight. Yeah. Like you know what I'm saying? It's like shit. You get faded, but you're not fiending the next day. Nah, right, 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 right. Yeah. Right. Right, you might you might feel like shit in the morning. Hell yeah. But that passes. That's you know it. You be he, all right. he told y'all niggas how to flip that shit, my <laughs> nigga. Yeah, and it's some out that you ain't never gonna feel like that, so. Facts. I'm doing like both, nigga. You know what I mean? So it's gonna balance each other out. <laughs> now, I wanna go back into the lyrics, man, because you said some shit where you even said some shit where you was like, I did some shit that like I ain't really proud of type shit. Yeah. Um do you feel like you're the one that kind of severed? Certain relationships, just off of your actions and your decisions. I'm so, I'm so like I ain't gonna say open minded, but like I'm a nigga. I could, I could, I could take the other side into consideration. Mm. I could see how somebody might have, but that's that's what we supposed to talk for. You feel me? Right. You might have took some shit the wrong way. It wasn't even that. Like you get what I'm saying? Like I had situations like that, but. Me ill intent or me backdooring or doing somebody wrong, like right. a male or like nah, like one of my mans, nah, never did no nobody since I've been alive. Never been on no get back shit. Nah, I'm all depends like <laughs> what type <of> shit. <laughs> like, but as far as doing a nigga like filthy, that's doing right by me. Nah, I do right by all my niggas, bro. Like, like I go, <laughs> bro. Yeah, if you want my safe, you already know that. Yeah, yeah. I go above and beyond, like for real, for real. Niggas can call me for whatever. I'm happy, I'm happy, man. Um, I'm, I know you got some older people around you who's kind of like steering you in the right direction, right? Um, where do they feel about your trajectory now as far as like you being in music and things of that nature? That's a good question because honestly, yeah, some people want me to fuck with the music, but. They like, yeah, they definitely encourage me to fuck with music, but I'm a little hard headed. I ain't, I don't want to say I'm hard headed, but like, I'm hard. Aside from music, I'm a little hard headed. Like being smart with how you nigga think, think you, you know, yeah, right, yeah, yeah, you know what I'm saying type yeah, shit. Just, yeah. just to some, you know what I mean, to some level. But like, I like to do shit my way. Yeah. Like regardless. If a nigga, let's say a nigga want to manage me or a nigga want X, Y, and Z, it's like, bro, I don't even want to take the help because a nigga might be trying to push you to do so much shit. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm not, I'm a type, one thing a lot of heads do tell me though, is get out your comfort zone, you know? Mm. I got to do that at some point, but like, I don't know, shit. I'm still <laughs> learning, bro. Like, I'm still learning just like everybody else. I mean, yeah. 2019. Yeah, you're still very new at this music shit. Yeah. Super new. Yeah, and, and, and we don't typically have niggas up here who are like that new just because just, there's really no catalog yeah right? i ain't gonna lie that was one of the things i was like i definitely like i know you and i'm not mad at you for feeling that way right you know what i'm saying right. that was always your response because right. heads would tell me yo i hollered up i hollered up yo like right. nigga, i told him nigga check his shit he's saying he fuck with xyz but you gotta have some workout bro i'm right. like nah i dig that and and, and you know no shot at bro, because, you know I mean, that's bro. But you got connects with, with BNF podcast. Why didn't that pan out? I could have been. I was still figuring out how and <laughs> what I was going to do. Like, right. I, well, I have my own timeline in my head. Like, I'm going to do this first, this first, this first. But then, why wouldn't you use that platform to catapult yourself, bro? That was the plan. Eventually, yeah. like this is the, my first stop. It's my first interview and all that. Yeah, I That's never even did. You oh, understand? I never sure. did a show. I never did an interview. I never. Wow. You know what I'm saying? You've never rocked the crab before. Never. I never did a show. That is wild, oh, damn. <laughs> yeah. That so it's wild. like, it's I'm I'm bro. That was in the works. Just I was. Yo, you want to do it? I do, but you gotta understand. Like, it's a lot more than you got people on the outside, bro. Like real rap. Like if a nigga got. A lot of shit going on. It sounds, I know it sounds like the same old song with a lot of different niggas, but it's a lot of severe situations niggas was dealing with over the years, bro. Like, to the point, like, yeah, bro, music was already not my passion, so it's easily to get, it's easy to get distracted from this shit. 
What is your passion? That's a good question. Huh? Shit. Huh? My pack. I mean, huh? Staying alive. Being on some business. Staying alive. <laughs> <laughs> nah, being on some business shit. I ain't gonna lie. Being on some business shit, like, that's my passion. Like, like I really look up the niggas that, like, got businesses. Like, I really, like, I didn't, bro, I don't want to get too crazy. Like, I done been around, like, real live meetings or, like, Niggas that own multiple niggas who got real money yeah. establishments. Like right. when I'm just sitting there, like damn, like nigga, you move different when you really like yeah. you, you move, nigga. Move. You walk different, like you a nigga. Them. Like you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. that I really look up to shit like that. Yeah, so yeah. I ain't gonna lie, yeah, my passion is like really like getting into some too. real business, like mm-hmm. owning some shit. Yeah, I'm I'm taking them steps right now. Like I've been taking them steps. Then I had nigga events happen where it's like some shit might have got set back, but. If you know me, you know, like, I always plot on some shit and I always follow through, like... Execute. Yeah. I had a lot of goals growing up. I executed Dana every one, whether it was, I wanted to grab this all cash or I wanted to grab this crib OT, this crib intent, like, whatever the case was. Mm-hmm. Like, I really made sure I did any and everything I wanted to do. You know, you, so from the outside looking at because I don't know you, right? This is mm-hmm. my first time meeting you. Yeah. Um, what I can gather from what I know about you and just the energy I'm getting from you right now is that you've always been a natural talent. You know what I mean? Like, you, you, you're a talented person, bro. Like, you could probably talk your way through a lot of shit, right? Because you have know-how, right? Know-how is, is half the battle. A lot of niggas don't have it, bro. A lot of niggas can have knowledge, but they don't have know-how. They don't have finesse. They don't know how to fucking move in a room full of people that don't speak their language. I can see that through you. Right. And I think you you can use that to your advantage when it comes to this music shit, my nigga. Because the music, it's hard. Especially coming from where we come from, bro. Yeah, but I feel but like it's easy for him. The music's easy. The music is easy for him. Because but the music business, a, the music business is what right, I'm talking well, about. Yeah, that part. The music different. business is hard. It's, it's super yeah, hard. Yeah, that's different. Trying to infiltrate and and, yeah, and, yeah, yeah. and create your space within that realm. So I think you I think you have the the natural abilities to do it, my nigga. I think it's just about doing it. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Um, Getting uncomfortable to get comfortable again. Yeah. yeah. You know what I mean? So as far as you say you have a 12 month plan, right? Yeah. So as far as releases and, and, and projects and things like that, is, is there anything that you want to talk about? I mean, <clears throat> yeah, I just dropped Tombstone. Just dropped that like an hour ago. So on yeah. YouTube right now, I'm going to drop, um, I'm going to drop on some other streaming platforms and probably like a week or two. Mm-hmm. But like going forward, like for the rest of the summer, I just want to go video crazy. Like four or five vids like just to get my visuals like yeah Yeah. like right now i feel like even a nigga like kodak like he dropped straight on youtube first jack straight on youtube first like it's not a bad idea they want like motherfuckers want to really see that shit like not just listen to it so yeah and that's what i'm lacking too i'm lacking some visuals so yeah trying to catch up on that and then really assess like all right do i really feel like bro the shit could take off. Like, it yeah. might. It, should it be taking one song? You feel me? So, it yeah. happen. Yeah. I see you got that puff and cream man. on. What's up Definitely. with bro, man? You spoke to him? He doing all right. He doing, he doing good? All right, yeah. He Tell him we said what up, man. Next I got you. I got you. Him, shout, out, yeah, shout out, bro. Shout out Puff and Cream. Shout out Puff and Cream. Oh, shout man. out BNF shout Podcast. Out shout out d Mal, Woody, man. However you want to classify him, man. Shout out to that, man. He's a good dude, man. Solid you nigga, know, man. It's one um, of them solid niggas who I was talking yeah. about. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You know, so he always champions fine. you, bro. Always oh, dead dogs. Always. Like, he was always like, Y'all need to have him, nigga. Yeah. Have my little bro up there. Yeah. yeah, nah, he did, but he 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 actually gave up on nah, I ain't gonna say he gave up, but like he's like, Shit, I can't make the nigga wanna rap. So right. yeah, <laughs> he yeah, fell yeah, back yeah, a little yeah. bit too. But like, you know, but you know, I think when when it comes to people who are close to you, they gotta see how much you want it too. Yeah. Yeah, you know I mean, like Cause you that. could never gauge how much somebody else wants it. Right. Like they not you. <clears throat> you know what I mean? Like like all right, what what year was you born? Ninety five. Ninety five. Right. I got a nephew who was born ninety seven. Right, there's a lot of things that I want to see my nephew do. He gotta want it first, right? Like I don't, I don't ever try to push him to do nothing. Like I tell him what's real, and he takes that information and he does what he does with it. 
You know what I mean? And and I think when when you have people who are older around you who already been through the ring and already kind of made mistakes and things of that nature, they just like whatever, nigga. I'm here for game. Right. Yeah. Learning through experience is always the best shit, though. Learning through your own experiences. It's tough. No, you trying. can say whatever you want to a nigga, bro. Over and over and over and over and over again. But that nigga just got to go through it. That's it. <laughs> it's just what it be. Nah, bro. that's your plan, bro. I'll tell me. Told yeah, you man. 12 months. We're going to see. Like, I think you should just, like, you know, if... Whatever. I want 12 months to work for you. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, other than that... Because I, I see want, certain I want... niggas' worth ethic has got them. Absolutely. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And mm. it's more work ethic than talent. Yes. You know what I'm saying? So that yes. should be having me yes. look like, I, I do need to apply myself. My man, Ab, RP, Ab, that nigga just, he be in my ear all day at night to the point like, nigga, what's the studio's link, bro? I'm booking you sessions right wow. before you pass. Like, wow. nigga, AB? that's one of our last yeah. texts. Yeah. yeah, like, nigga, what's the link? Man, yeah. I'm His brother just sessions. got married, man. That's my dog, man. Congrats. Yeah, yeah. Um, I want to talk about the features that you chose. Still bleeding, right? A lot, uh, a lot of features. B Blazo, uh-huh. he's another you know what I mean young nigga from out here who's doing the melodic rap and you know things of that nature. How, how did that come to be? See, I forgot about him even in earlier. He's asking about locals, like mm-hmm. one of my favorite artists. Yeah. Wow, y'all compliment each other really well. Very well. Oh, yeah, like it's crazy. He's one of my favorites. I, I think he's one of the top like talent to like. Bro, somebody hear him, his body here, you feel yeah. me? The right person hear him, but right. yeah. Um, I been wanted him on some shit. He wanted me on some shit. We got up, we worked on more than one joint, but that was a joint that I knew he could yeah. he could get on there and do him. Absolutely. He got in there, banged it right out, and then shit. That was definitely one of them joints I was going on the tape. Shit was hard. Huh. What's your fave feature on there, though? Ooh, my favorite feature. I'm not going to hold you, yo. <sighs> Melo's my favorite feature on there. Like I don't know why Mello's I don't know fire. why like that song. Was I'm in it. between Mellow and Dutchy Dubat. All right, word. Thank you, because Mellow that track with Mellow was fire. And not yeah. to say that the B Blazo feature wasn't fire, because I thought yeah, nah, I thought was, y'all had a tandem. That's thing why I asked yeah. how much yeah. we rated this, because I actually want to rate. I want to re-rate it. Yeah, y'all niggas, right. y'all niggas could listening. like you and B Blazo could go back and forth all day. Mm-hmm. Like just just from what I heard on that one track, y'all oh, niggas could yeah. do like a whole project together. Bro, I want to. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Um, the, the Dutchy do bad shit. I was I was excited about it, and it's exactly what I expected to be. It was premium content, but like Cash said, the mellow joint was fire. Yeah. She she got a voice. She got a voice. She got a voice, and she the the melody she chose to ride the beat. Y'all niggas compliment each yeah, other yo. way better than anything else on that. And shit. the double entendre on the name attachments was fire too. And you we know all saying? know women are better, bro. You know it's crazy because. When I first heard that beat, I was about to do that song by myself. And she was just like, she hollered at me. She's like, she been said she wanted to do a song. Then she's like, yo, send me some beats and shit. I'm like, I don't got no beats. Just this one beat like I'm working on. Mm. She was like, nah, I ain't. just send it, just send it. I'm like, all right, I sent it. But I'm like, I'm doing it by myself though. But then she was like, yo, she hit me in like 15 minutes. Just... Mm. Ready to go. I, I heard that like content. I heard that voice and that them lyrics. I was like, yeah, let's, let's That's go. Yeah. What year was that? I was like, what? That was twenty. Uh, when I drop it. Oh, that was twenty. You know what's crazy? That shit was twenty twenty. Okay. Oh, okay. Swear so to God. Was... Yeah. Okay. But see. I dropped it in twenty twenty one August. I think yeah. Oh, September, early September. Yeah, end of the Damn. summer. But the first day I really recorded that shit was like twenty twenty. Mm-hmm. It's a polished record. Yeah, it a lot of mad shit. polish, it does, bro. It does. It does. I think like, it's industry ready. Yeah, it's a like it's shit. like a radio. It's like a radio record. Yeah, I was supposed to I send was, um that's double my... clean version, but you know sometimes the clean version could fuck the song up a little bit. I think I had the wrong engineer trying to make a clean version. So I think sometimes I never... clean versions have to be re-recorded, mm. like certain parts of it. Because mm-hmm. I've been there. Like when I used to rap, there was certain words. That you would want to replace yeah, with words bro. that would be clean. You know what I'm saying? Better than uh, the than blank the bleep, or the, yeah, you know I mean? like, or the bleep or the blank, whatever. Like, like, like I was. <laughs> it's funny, nigga. I posted a story today. Like my man, like that Manny Fresh, real big. Mm-hmm. Uh, cars real big, <laughs> house real big. He go dick real big, everything real big. <laughs> That's the dirty version, and like. The the clean version, he ain't say nothing about dick, nigga. Pause, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? I was like, 
And I was like, damn, that shit was smooth, nigga. But it was a whole different word. I forget what he used mm. to replace it. But like, that's what I mean. Like, you know what I mean? Because nigga, dick real big. How you going to say that shit on the radio? Yeah, like, you know, that's just crazy. You know what I mean? But, but and, and that's what I mean. Like, with, with, My with kid shit. would still be like, what he say? Even if they blank it out. <laughs> but, real big. Man, probably what he say? I'm like, yo, nothing, nigga. <laughs> Dory real big, nigga. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. Nemo real big. All of that. Right? But, but, but yeah, so... I feel you on that, bro. Like, there's some there's some records that just have to be redone yeah. for radio. But nah, it was a radio joint though. Like, definitely, yes. like, yes, a lot of that shit. And it's, that's not why I like it. I'm just saying in regards to the best feature on there. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. other than that, I mean, um, what was the it was the record that was my favorite record. Sanctuary is my first, my favorite. Yeah. Record. yeah. It's just crazy with Saint all Jerry, real, bro. All nah, real. I definitely was all, all real. Favorite. All real was just it was <laughs> all real. It was, it was all real. So it's like, how do you feel when you listen to rap that you like that shit don't add up? That math ain't mathing. I ain't gonna lie, <laughs> it be so crazy, bro. Like, before I go to the crib, I might really do like four. I swear to God, like four, five, six lots. Just listening, like, damn, I really like was able to put everything on wax, like. My feelings, whatever was going on at whatever point in time, like nigga, I just it really be therapeutic, like no bullshit. But um, that's how I be feeling. I'll be like, like damn, or like, you know, I got folks around me be like, yo, you was really able to mm-hmm. speak for like what's going on, like. And niggas can relate to the yeah. stories, yeah, right? Yeah, it's a good. Feeling. It's like because it comes from a true place, and it's effortless. It's effortless when you it's coming like from that. a true place, my man. That's what separates him from a lot of you make believe. <laughs> Not on dead dogs. Like I you can hear it in a nigga's music when it's coming from comic book or he's seen somebody else do it. When it's not Yeah, nah, uh, not only that, I wanna feel right if like nigga, my folks from what y'all about to be bumping this shit, sharing this shit, you know it ain't yeah. it ain't righteous or you know like yeah. that's not you know what I mean I'll be no, I wouldn't feel right knowing I got them type of people around me. Mm. Like I'm, my man's like them niggas, my man too, and my man's too. All them niggas support me just so crazy on some right. shit like bro, you living right with you? Like Who's the you know? fakest nigga in Boston? Fakest? Yeah. Damn, I say that's a crazy question. Oh <laughs> 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 no, I can't I shit, I can't even. When you think I, of fake, who comes to your mind? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> you answer that. Hey, man. I, for real, for real. Answer that. You know, I do, I do that shit all the time. I'm, I'm tired of giving this nigga promo. I keep hearing it, but yeah, like, I, mean, I don't, oh, I keep hearing that you be coming down on niggas, but I'll be missing it, bro. You know, I, I, I speak my, my mind when it's, when it's necessary. You know what I mean? You know, I, there's some, I don't, some, I don't, I don't go crazy against black men because for me, this is black culture through music. I want to uplift black men. But they be letting niggas. There's some black niggas who be out here wilding, right? I mean, they ain't be on some shit. So that has to be spoken of too, right? Because we can't just champion everything in our culture just because they black. Yeah. Right? There's some fuck shit that has to be addressed, but I'm not going to spend too much time on it because we talk about it and we move on, right? But from an artist standpoint, right? I, I can't speak from that standpoint. So that's why I'm asking you that question. I'm not. I, I ain't gonna hold you. <laughs> <laughs> like Kappa, like capping or like fake, like like we like what angle, like yeah, like, like capping. Yeah, niggas, like, niggas be making believe, nigga. Niggas be, no niggas be Bro. niggas be six nine in their records. What's actually crazy is that most of the niggas rapping in Boston, they was probably like on some shit before they even. They just rapped because they was on some shit. You get what I'm saying? Right. I know most of the niggas I listen to local. Like the street, yeah. They was living like that. Mm. Then motherfuckers around them will probably push them to because they got this story. You know mm. what I'm saying? So I ain't gonna lie. Like most niggas be capping. Most niggas is really like there's nothing to They're be really, really like outside that. living at that type of way. But mm. yeah, but there's definitely a couple niggas. Out there. All right, bro. Your hood's back in this. <laughs> this safe is back in that. Like damn, where they at? They all dead. Like, <laughs> shit. I'm just saying. So I've heard. I don't know. There'd I was some there. There'd be some tough tales, man. There'd be some <laughs> tough tales. I don't know, but I know when I hear it, I can. I just, I just know. 
I just know, bro. When when something's not adding, yeah, up, when the math's not math. Also, it's like there's something for you to talk about. You could be to just get money, nigga. You could be the nigga with the hoes. You could be the nigga that X, Y, Z. Just be that. Like, but I think true. I think a lot of niggas want to be the tough nigga. A lot of niggas want to be the super gangster. Right. You know what I mean? You 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 can be the nigga that get money. You could be the nigga that get we, the hoes. You can but then be the, all of a sudden, you don't call Leone nigga on the record, <laughs> and it's like, what the fuck happened, my nigga? Like yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like who who sent you? You know what I mean? Yeah. And, and niggas embellish records so crazy. I think I'm, I'm guilty of it too, nigga. I did that shit when I was rapping, nigga. I done talked about my best day 11 times. You know what I'm saying, nigga? So best, talked about your best day in 12 different ways, nigga. Or dead dogs, nigga. Oh, like, you know what I mean? But, but then there's, there's this embellishing and then there's just straight lying. Yeah. Right? There's just niggas who just, nah, we know you was never that guy ever to any level. Right, so, um, what do you want to come up here and talk about, man? I ain't gonna lie. Oh, matter of fact, I got a question for you. But first, let me speak on that though. Like, even like, bro, niggas be like, I feel like people overlook like what artists really do be going through though. Like, nigga, that should be coming with a lot. Like, mm. whatever niggas is talking about, the niggas that is living like that, bro. Like, that nigga probably got some shit going on. Like, you won't even know about. This nigga probably just went through a situation. He probably depressed. Mm. He probably like, you know what I mean? He probably down bad. He probably just did some shicey to somebody close to him. Like, cause he had like, who knows? Like, right, this nigga, yeah. Like, it'd be all type of shit going on. Like, I'd be feeling like outsiders just really be outsiders, bro. Like, in the bleachers, like, mm. bro, some of you, this nigga just lost X, Y, Z people in this amount of months. Like, Mm. You're not even crying about this shit no more. Like, it'd be mm. a lot of shit, bro. Mm. You feel me? This nigga don't got no one to talk to. This nigga, mm. like, it'd be a lot of shit. I nah, feel like it gets real. overlooked. And the other thing, like, even with the platforms, bro, it's a lot of platforms that act like it's one specific way to to pop. You gotta, you gotta jump on these interviews. You gotta do this and that. You gotta do X, Y. Like, bro, there's no formula for this shit. At all. Mm. You know what I'm saying? It's, imagine a nigga telling... Lil TJ, don't do your melody shit because A Boogie just did it. He want to have M's right now. Mm -hmm. Imagine a nigga telling nigga certain niggas in the city that popped in they book now, whatever the case is, you got to do this. Some of them niggas ain't never even did a fucking in it, whatever. Yeah. But mm -hmm. they hundreds of thousands of views, they X, Y, and Z in it because they just did dumb however they felt like doing them. Mm -hmm. Facts. <laughs> nigga but smart. nah, but Chiz, um, you still feel like I remember I, I think the Ream interview you was like drill music ain't real music, right? Like a lot of it ain't. What make you feel like that type shit? I feel like cause he old oh, oh, shut up. <laughs> I'm the oldest nigga in Boston, according to a lot of niggas. But I think with drill, a lot of niggas tapped into a sound. And they wanna sound like that, right? They wanna get that feel that drill brought to rap. Right, it's a fresh new feel because yeah, whatever we, we had, you know, there was there was UK drill, there was Chicago drill, but now New York drill is like the same. Song right? genre, yeah. Right. I feel like with drilling in Boston and like <laughs> any other market that's not New York, shit's not crazy. We're trying. What, what you mean? Like you handling business, like you handling fucking construction. Niggas is drilling. <laughs> but that's but that's what it's like. Almost. I know, I know, I know. But that's what but it's like. It, but I like that shit, man. I feel like niggas, niggas is just trying to tap into a sound, thinking that that's gonna get them. But lit. they don't have to say that but, shit. But it's not our sound. Like we have that already. Like we have a market that's already championing that and, and pushing that, and they doing really well at it. Why yeah. don't we create our own sound? And that that's that's why I say it's not real. Where it's like, all right, my nigga, like, cool. We we can all trace our favorite rappers. We could all do that shit. That's easy. I could hear Ghostface on the record, and I and I hear a beat that that compliments him, and I go and make make a Ghostface sound a record. Yeah. You could hear some shit by you know Pop Smoke, Lil T J, Fabio, whatever, and you say, yo, you know what? That inspired me. I want to go do that. But that's not the record that's gonna make you pop. It's not. In my opinion, I dig it. I, I I don't know. I don't know at all, my nigga. I'm not sweat. But what I'm saying is, we have something for that already. So why don't we just focus on who we are, what feels natural, and just make music? That works. But that should drill shit could also work. Because look at the boy CJ, right? The whoopty song. 
That's a drill song, right? Where's he at? Nigga, <laughs> he's out of here. He's doing Spanish music. Where? What you mean, where? I haven't heard no shit. International. He's doing Spanish music. He's doing reggae. Did CJ get like punked by like some bloods or some shit? Like, or nigga, some shit? But, like, he, but he sold all right that, that record. I'm sold. All right, let him do that shit again. That's my point, bro. Like, he literally. It was, it he's was, the perfect example to use, actually. Thank you, nigga. Because that nigga did some shit that he shouldn't have done. He was using slang that he, he didn't champion, that he didn't create, that he wasn't around. The nigga. He just did some shit because it was hot at the moment, and it worked. Because you can't say that he created. He, cre- he created a name, but how many people can do what CJ did? How many? How right. Many? How many? How that many? was that was but a one off. Yeah, but you know, it's taking a shot. That's a but. But that's a one off. Is what I'm that saying. Is, you gotta, everybody's doing drill. I'm, but I'm, I'm, not, I'm not mad at everybody for putting out a drill record because that drill record could be the CJ record. Could be. If you, it could be the whoop dead. If, if I just shot you in the hoopty, right? <laughs> if you the, if you the nigga that put out a drill record, and you put out a drill record, maybe two, maybe three, whatever. But if you're cr- solely creating that sound over and over and over and over again, that's my beef with it. Where it's like you're trying to tap into this shit and you're trying to make it your own. That's fine to, to hop on a wave and say, "Yo, fuck it, I'm gonna just do a song like that because I like it and it's." It, and it got me excited. So, like, when, when Drake did the whole, um, uh, I need a one dance, everybody started doing those Calypso type beats. Everybody. Nigga, Frenchie went crazy, nigga. Okay, Fucking yeah, yeah. unforgettable. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, that was his best record till this day. That's Frenchie's largest grossing record to date. That shit, that single went diamond. You know what diamond is, nigga? It's 10 million records, man. That one song sold 10 million units That's what off I'm of saying. a sound that somebody else so, kind of made hot. So you can't be but, mad at that. But no, but what Frenchie do after that? He did Frenchie. I mean, bro. That's my thing. Be who you are. Don't just make the record just because you think like, oh, this is going to get me hot and you're just going to continue to play into that sound. That's my beef with it. That's why I say it's not real. It's like, all right, you make a drill record? Cool. Drop that shit. That shit probably hard. I'm going to try to do the leg shit and all of that. You know what I'm saying, <laughs> yeah. nigga? But like, yo, that leg shit is tiring, bro. Nigga, I can't do that very shit hard, for all them nigga. songs, like, I got bro. joint problems Yeah, and that shit's shit. crazy. Yeah, oh, nigga. getting sturdy, <laughs> nigga, is getting into the emergency Getting room. sturdy that is wild. Was, uh, it's like, yo. That, that shit's that a workout, was, That shit's wild. I'm like, what are you doing, That shit's a workout. That's some, nigga, that's that's some New York shit. Like, that's crazy. That's just a workout. But that's all part of it, right? But it's like, man, I don't know, man. I'm all with it, man, because... Take them shots, man. Shoot nah, as many shots, bro. Nah, you the that. best player on the team. If you, you shoot drop the most a drill record right now, bro, I wouldn't be mad at you. At all. No, nah, I was just asking on some shit like, I want to say it's not real music for, for, as long as it's coming from a real place, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah. But as far as like, you, I felt like you were saying all drill music at no, that no, 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 time, no, no, like, no, 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 was no. just. No. I think a lot of people making drill aren't real. I I mean, it. A lot of people making drill because they're trying to tap into a sound. They're just trying to tap into a sound. Yeah. And they be talking. Because drill forces you to talk like that. It's easy. It does. It's easy to talk like that when you hear the drill. Oh, mm-hmm. yeah. And you're like, I mean, like, what else am I going to do? <laughs> I shot a nigga on that <laughs> block. <laughs> You know what I mean? Well, whatever, like, smoking on right on the like, top. Like, fucking on a dead yeah, op, Like, like yeah, smoking man. on a dead op, Like, you know what I mean? Like, put him in the box, right? You know what I mean? Yeah, like, yeah. I hit you at the red light. You know what I'm saying? Like, all types of shit, bro. Like, there's just, it's the language that goes with it, right? And it's easy to do because we've heard it already. It's the most entertaining thing in America right now. That and fast food and Donald Trump. Violence and fucking fast food is built on America. Free Big T. Cherry pie. That's right. God damn it. God damn it. Free big T. Uh, <laughs> but other than that, man, that was the last thing you wanted to end off with, bro. Oh, yo. Yeah. Right? On my questions? Sure. Whatever I want to talk about. Whatever you want to talk about, bro. Nah, who's your top five in the city? Why well, niggas ask a question like that? Man. That's crazy. Top five in the city. Yeah. And we're not going to mention, if, if we're talking top five in the city, we're not going to mention Millie's because he's out of here. 
We're not gonna mention. Bill, yeah, no, that's Bia. fair. That's We're not fair. gonna mention Joyner. We're, We're gonna, gonna keep it. Cousin Stiz. We're yeah. not gonna mention Token. Right? Those no. five. Yeah, they don't. They don't fair, get spoken fair. about. We'll right? And when we say the city, we mean mass as a whole. I'm right? saying up and coming, not established like or up and coming. Right? Somewhat established. Um, mm. I like. Mm. We're gonna have to say Y Jizzle, right? We're gonna have to say A Z, right? Um, King Bricks. King Bricks. That's three. Uh, I like Body Rock in mind. Uh, Body Rock definitely up there. Um, the last one mm, was the last one, man. Damn, damn. It has to be a good one because those those four that we just can those we are put, givens. Can we yeah. put? Yeah, no, we can't put Van Buren as a whole. Nah, nah. That's not, fair. that's not fair. I don't. I don't think that's fair. I would say Van Buren. As, mm-hmm. a whole, as a whole, but if I have to choose the one out of Van Buren that You're I feel like is going to pierce through the industry for all of them, because that's exactly what's going to happen. We already know what the fuck them niggas be on. That's, that's a whole family. It's going to be Felix. Lord Felix. Right. I think he just goes by Felix now. Right. Right. Yeah. Right. Not Ricky Felix, his brother, the producer slash rapper, but Lord Felix. Why? And the only reason why I feel like I need to explain why Lord Felix. Ain't nobody because, asked you, man. I, because he's a visual artist. Niggas want to see him, and you know why niggas want to see him? Because nobody Cause knows what the fuck he look, look like. like. Nigga, he been wearing visors since he dropped. Nigga. He like Murphy <laughs> Lee Twin, right? <laughs> the nigga, the dog. nigga who was on the St. Lunatics. Remember right. when Ghostface <laughs> had the the mask on for yeah, years? Yeah, yeah. we right. know what the fuck Dennis Cole looked like for years. Right. So I think the allure of Lord Felix is what would put him in that spot. And I think everybody else we mentioned is everybody who's working to get towards those five people that we asked out from this conversation. What about you? Yeah, that was pretty much my five. That was, that was pretty much my five. Yeah. I don't got nothing else I would really mix out. Because why Jizzle's in there. A-Zip is in there. King Bricks is definitely... Probably top if I I would pick in order. If you want me, to nah, I like them too. I like um I like them features. Them features they did was hot for Millie's too. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Blanco four. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, if we are gonna do honorable mention, I gotta talk about Oompa. Okay. I don't That's know if right. you're familiar. I'm familiar. Oompa is one Shorty, of the most right? slept on. Yeah. Yeah. She's one of the most slept on artists out here because not only can she rap her ass off, she can orchestrate a whole fucking record. Like a textbook producer, not talking about just making beats. I mean, honorable mention, I'd be Sheikh Hanif, bro. I mean, I think Sheikh Hanif is gonna get out of here, and that's fair for what's going on right now. Yeah, but if we're talking about <laughs> what's Russell. been, but if we talking about what's been going on, we gotta talk about Umpa, my nigga. Yeah, Umpa for sure. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. We talking about been going on. Yeah, got throw lady. Yeah, yeah. Good one, Umpa got it. That was a Bill guy. Russell line was still good. here. Yeah. <laughs> that what? That Bill Russell line. Oh, nigga. Well, you say I'm hated in my uh He said uh It's a classic. Uh uh Niggas hate me like I'm Bill. Nah, nah, nah. What you say, yeah. What you say, nigga? Uh I should build a statue in my city like I'm Bill Russell, but niggas never really love me like I'm Bill yeah. Russell or some shit. Yeah, yeah, that line was you know, still hustling. Chill was the motivation. Yeah, yeah, I not out of that was my favorite. Rose. That was my favorite line. Still yeah. hustling. Chill was the motivation. Yeah, yeah. And I always had a knack for those O's. <laughs> I think it's his delivery that sets him apart from everybody else, my nigga. So like, I feel like that list could just keep growing. It and could. Growing. It could. It could, man. But no, I that's what that's what I'm happy five. about. That's why I want you to just keep going. That's why you here. Yeah. Uh, like the melodic rap, bro. It, it, it's it still. It fucking works yeah, for hold you. Hold on. Um, your yeah, other co host, um, Chanel. 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 She said she don't really like melodic rap type shit. Or... I don't really remember what she said about it. Chanel says a lot of shit. I don't, I don't remember nah, what she I said about it. I wanted to know what's her preference. I think she said some shit like that on her uh, radio. She likes. Chanel likes R&B more than anything, right? Okay. So. I don't know if she said she didn't like melodic rap, but if she did say that, that's kind of surprising to me, considering how much she likes R and B, right? Um, but what I'm saying is, 
melodic rap and 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 like lyricist, y'all two different lanes, right? Do you think you'd be able to switch from the melodic rap to? I could, and I'm, I'm trying to play more with the. So I got the handful of, not the handful, but I got certain people that's like, yo, I want to hear like dirty, no melodic. I just mm. want to hear straight dirty, like rap, rap. Yeah. Like even the tape, like I tried to give like a few different vibes, a couple melodic, rap, a feature that's kind of like more up tempo, mm. like shit like that. I tried yeah. to mix it up. You feel me? Like I didn't want it to be one straight right. sound, but. That rap shit, like I'm working on some rap, rap right now. Okay. Like, I would let her hear that. Are we getting bars? Yeah. Are we, we gonna get, get some bars? bars? Yeah, 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 definitely. We post. gonna get some bars? Hell yeah. Yeah. All right, man. Shit. So let's wrap this up. Let's get to this shit, shit, man. Bars, man. 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 Anything else you want to talk about before we? You know what I mean? No nah, oh, shit. We can wrap up. It ain't nothing. All right, man. But we had Millie nineteen in the building, man. Uh-huh. Uh, you know, you know, four corners. Phil's corners, <laughs> Phil corner, all, uh, corners. You know, all, all the corners, <laughs> favorite, yeah. uh, you know what I'm saying? That's, if, you, if you're from the area. If, you, if you know, you know, yeah. you know what I'm saying? If you know what the if fuck's you going know, on, you, you know, know, you know. Nigga, my um, Joe's if you don't. I love your story, bro. You know, I, I just really want to see what you do with it, man, and where you go next, man. I'm excited. We rooting for you, my nigga. Yeah, we in your corner, man. We rooting for you on Dead Dogs. From us, man, you let us Press run, come back. Appreciate that, yeah, bro, man. man. Um, I am Charlie Machine, man. Boy, this cash. is Cash. No, it. Chis and Cash, man. You niggas know you need some cash, yes. man. Every time. Man. This is episode 132, CWTFB Radio, man. We love you niggas, man. We out of here, man. We love y'all. We out.